Okay, so here we are again at Fort Starlight. Basically, nothing's getting through that fucking wall. It's not finished yet, needs a lot more work. There'll be a tower on each corner, all that kind of stuff. Standard stuff. So let's just head inside. As you can see, the uh, person who's meant to be running the security checkpoint has fucked off. Don't know where they went. They'll be around here somewhere, I guess. Dog can't wait for me, apparently. So I was going to put the market over here, but uh, I'll make use of this space a different way. So instead, I built the market in the center around the water and power producing building. Although now that I look at it, it looks like the building's on fire thanks to that generator on top. That's fun. But keep in mind I haven't got enough settlers to actually you know, man all this stuff just yet. So, but we've got a little general store in here and these all can be manned. They're all actual shops. This is a little general store. Put the rifle away. So you've got the clothing store in here. You've got your weapons and armor shop. <laughs> Two of the most important stores you'll ever need in the Commonwealth. We've got enough ordnance to win a war. Plus, if anyone decides to actually attack this set on this settlement, yeah, they're in trouble. We got enough ordnance to fucking fight the Chinese. All your armor benches, showing off all the bits and pieces. Now, it's unfinished. There'll be more around here. I don't know what we're going to put in there. Maybe a shop selling all the food or something. But we'll go. Top side, there's a restaurant and a bar up here. It's not quite complete yet. Uh, we still need to put tables and all that, and uh, yeah, little minor, minor things such as yeah, a roof that could be useful. We only got a limited stock right now, mostly beer and a couple of wine. But. Uh, Yep, that's a restaurant at the end there, so there'll be dining and all that up here as well. That's power. Starting to look like an actual settlement. Now we just need more bloody people. They haven't been turning up of late. We've got everything they need. I mean, we got power and water and food and security and beds and all that kind of crap. God knows where they where they're pissing off to, but they're not coming here. Well I'm here I may as well show you some of the other areas. So there's gonna be I'm thinking a Minuteman camp up here. This is where I'm gonna put the artillery when we have the opportunity. This is the barracks. And all the settlers are being assigned beds in the barracks, so... Uh, no one asked you, Piper. Bloody useless. Bloody reporters, I tell you. So, if memory serves, this is the... Uh, the bunk room of the Sheriff's Deputy that you saw in the last video. Another little room in here, barracks room 2. I left the front walls off just because it's easier to place stuff in there without having to dance around the wall. But as you can see, there's quite a few barracks rooms in this. And then you've got the commanding officer's accommodation. The commanding officer's got it pretty good. 
a working holotape, holotape player. Uh, he's been busy earning himself some bounty money. Oh, it's not fully decorated in here either, but it's getting there. So, oh, shut that door. And then we can get up on the roof. Eventually this will go all the way along as a part of the fortification. You got the mess hall, again, not finished. I need to knock out some panels and put the kitchen at that end. Not quite sure what I'm going to put there, build the tower up, I guess. This building, I was going to build something in here, but I'm, I've forgotten what it was. Uh, it was. I think it was going to be the market, but you know, at one point, and the market's over there now. So I may end up turning this into like the power generation place, just absolutely fill it with generators. I can put more garden beds up here. Of course you've got gardens down here. One of our deputies. Fucking ponytail man. Kinda looks like Shin from the Yogg's cast. Paranoid fucker over there, that door. But yes, yeah, sir, so this is what I was up till like one in the morning trying to work out. But it appears to be coming along quite nicely. A little bit of detail here and there. Yeah, a little bit of detail is what really makes it, you know? Ammo boxes out. Not the most secure store in the world. <laughs> Especially with the weapons and ammo just laying everywhere, but I don't think it I don't think it'd pass uh, security today. So yeah, that's where we're up to so far. I was up to one about one in the morning working on this. And it's getting there. I mean the little general store around the corner here's got a few little things and you know, I'll fill it by just uh Fill that by just spawning in duplicates of everything. But even the general store has got a good little selection of stuff. Sunglasses, watches, clothes, police hats. <laughs> oh yeah, and uh, we also have plumbing. We have toilets. We got outhouses hidden away. I fix the floor. I did a bit more work in here. We've got chairs now. It makes so much of a difference. So, yeah, that's where it's ended up. There's the one standing around behind the desk. Yeah, hotel's still pretty empty. But yeah, as you can see, it actually does function. over my settlement. Actually looks pretty good. Getting there. 